Good morning guys. We are going to Montauk in the vlog today. I am so excited. I'm going with Cynthia Rowley for, they're calling it surf camp and I'm very excited. It's gonna be a few days out there and we're doing a lot of fun stuff. So I was like, I have to vlog. I have everything packed up. It's just one night, I guess two days. I'm bringing my little duffel. Then I have my two other bags here. I'm using my new tote. How cute. We're taking a bus out there, so just comfy for the bus. I'm wearing this set from Hangover Hoodies. Really cute. It's like a shorts and a long sweatshirt moment. And then my white All Saints shoes. And I'm wearing this cute new anklet from All Right. So I am going to meet everybody at the store in Tribeca, and then we're gonna take the bus over. Let's go. Vloggers are here. Guys, look how cute. It's a little rainy. <laughs> we have a little microphone. Yeah, it's, little... it's good, and it has the, the pom pom like so it's like a wind barrier. You look so official. Rain. Oh my gosh, I tried. That's why I got the, the bigger bag. My other bag in there because I needed it to put this camera. We're going to the store now to change into wetsuits, which is going to be just a very interesting process, but we're very excited. Hi. All right, we're trying on. Wait, oh, you have two. Oh, you're trying two di diff sizes. It's very cute. We're doing a color blocking moment. Color in suits. <laughs> Suited up. You don't have yellow on your suit green. I think we just like have a variation of the same one. This is gonna be really interesting. Now we're going to surf. So, I'm so excited. I'll show you guys Montauk. We just learned. Look at the lighting. Gnarly. <laughs> they just tried to, keyword tried to teach me how to surf. At least Katie was getting up. We just popped practice. up. It takes a lot more core I know. strength than you'd think. She's a real thick girl, guys. It's really <laughs> impressive. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you have this whole setup, and the trainers are like showing us how to do it on the boards. Hi, guys. It's later. I put on the same set that I was in before. Uh, we got to our rooms and we showered after the day of surfing. It would have been like impossible for me to vlog that just given the fact of like what the setup was and everything. It was such a fun day. Um, I didn't get all the way up, but Katie was able to get up. Margo like rode a whole wave. I'm just proud of myself for even trying and trying new things. So I'm happy with that. And I tried and I kept trying, you know, I had a feeling this wouldn't be my thing. I'm not really great at like balance oriented activities. I'm gonna use my hair serum, do some skincare. But before I do all of that, I wanted to show you guys my room. We're staying at the Maram in Montauk. Oh, I also broke one of my nails completely off. I haven't had this happen in the longest time and it's it's in pain. It's it's painful. I'll just say that. It is what it is. We keep moving, we keep grooving. I'll show you guys the room because it's so cute. I already started putting my stuff away. <laughs> like just down, it's just one night, you know what I mean? But you walk in and you have the like vanity station and then the bathroom's in here with a nice shower, toilet obviously. So cute out here. Um, and this is just how the room came. Um, I picked out a dress to wear tonight, which I'm super excited about. And then just some other things, which we could open that together. We have all of my stuff just over here. A nice full body mirror. I definitely want to have a bite of these. So I'm gonna hit these. I really like them. The full Nespresso spread. They called this a credenza. So that's fancy. This like couch, little chill area, and then a nice balcony, which I'll show you guys. So cool. So that's where we were surfing out there today. I absolutely love this. I hope no one hears me. Adorable. So let's take a look at what's in here. Brooke, welcome to surf camp. Wishing you an amazing adventure. Love. So I got this red dress. It's called the Mimi dress, I think. I'm very excited. It's like fun red. Oh my God, what is this? I love this tote bag. And then in here, Oh my gosh, a bunch of stuff. Essentials Discovery Kit. Skincare, Carez. Ooh, oh my God. Sunday Riley, wake up with me. Little, another skincare kit. Two chicks, vodka, lemon, strawberry, and basil cocktail. I think that we're gonna drink some of these tonight. Oh my gosh, another skincare set. Go to bed with me, full set. Oh my God, Highline Wellness and Cynthia Rally did a collab. I did not even know that. Premium CBD gummies, surf camp night. You guys, I literally take these at night. Like I didn't pack them, but I wish I did. This is amazing. What else? Highline Wellness CBD gummies anytime. Oh my 
god what else is in here this is so cool cynthia rally x gin lane you guys she is iconic she does a collab with like everyone and she's just the best whoa pink gin it's so hard to do this with one hand there's so much stuff in here I'm so beyond lucky like this is insane another two chicks cocktail this is the goop glow glow lotion cool goop nourishing lip balm always love a lip balm obsessed with this tote oh my gosh i think there's even more cbd's stuff in here love then in this bag here this is boyson montauk alcohol removed wine sparkling rosé kin grounding calming drink bunch of other drinks in here i guess this is like even more drinks holy crap i'm so beyond lucky this is so crazy i have to make sure that that dress fits and i want to have a bite to eat really quick before dinner because i feel like we're not going to eat for a minute and i have to get ready I'm still getting ready. How cute is this dress? This is um, my pick for tonight. We were all wearing like looks obviously from Cynthia Rowley. So this is what I'm wearing. I have to take the tag off. It's been a big theme of my life recently. Got the bag, got the tag. <laughs> the Chicago vlogs live rent free in my head. All right, well, I'll tuck it in for now. I just made myself a espresso shot. They have an espresso in the room and I know I'm gonna get tired in a little bit. So haven't been loving coffee lately, but I'm gonna force myself to do this because I know I'm gonna get tired in just a little bit. I like feel it coming. I actually didn't drink any really coffee today. Now that I think about it. I'm gonna keep getting ready. Um, I think I'm about to curl my hair, put on a full face of makeup, and then we will go. I'm gonna use my new tote tonight. Love it. <laughs> Katie's editing Instagram stories. Oh, me, <laughs> I, I found some good music. It sounds like stock music. Yeah, it does, but it's a good one. This is the view from Katie's room. It's sick. Literally just the beach. This is giving me, did you read the book Malibu Rising? Um, I haven't yet, don't spoil it. I'm not, but it's, this is I'm like, so excited to read the it. setting is like beach, oh, like really? this. Yeah. Like, cause it's all about like surfing and stuff. This is the look. This is super cool. Rove Loop. Cool. Wow, we're just in the back. What, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Here she comes. What? Party people. <laughs> one of these to dinner now. Hello. Sorry, I'm a vlogger. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is amazing. Yes, so we're here at uh, Gurney's now and we're going to dinner out here. This is incredible. <laughs> it looks even better on camera. Oh my God. <laughs> Lost in the sauce. Did you ever say that in high school? Why did we say lost in the no sauce? Like, what is this? Right. Is this is sauce? I was like, okay, this is, is literally is sauce. Wait, is this sauce? Like that? Someone tell us. We are dining on filet mignon, potatoes, vegetables, and I keep getting my uh, rosé refilled, which is just incredible. And we're here with a great group. The whole gang is dancing up a storm. It is so fun, you guys. We just have the most fun dinner ever. Like, I can't even put it into words. I do want to say that there was a celebrity presence subscribed to my podcast, and I'll tell the story. But it was great. My day was already made. Like, I already had a fantastic day, like, trying to surf. I didn't really get up, but, like, it doesn't matter. You because did a great job. You surf did a great surfing job. Surfing is hard. Surfing takes a lot of time. Katie was, like, strength. getting up and, like, doing it. She's like, you did a great job. <laughs> I, I took a lot of waves to the face before that happened, so. We had a lot of fun. We just had such a fun day. So we're finishing up at Gurney's and then I think we'll go back to the hotel some s'mores. I just can't put it into words. Like more days like this, please. I need more positive energy like this. The dances. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna walk downstairs for breakfast this morning. I'm wearing my workout outfits. Then we are going to a soul cycle class like as a group. I'm wearing this Lululemon top. Lemon leggings, then I just have my bonus lens hangover hoodie just tied around my waist. Sunglasses, of course. I'm feeling a little hungover. I need water. Looks stunning. Thank you so much. I want these so bad. I always see people wear them and they look oh, so yeah. freaking comfortable. Katie's first soul cycle. This is my first class. We're very excited. Okay, we just finished up outdoor soul. It is the lighting probably better in this direction. I haven't taken a class outside. That was Katie's first ever. What what's the conclusion? You liked it? I really liked it. It's a lot of moving. <laughs> But it's like a good mix of fast and slow. They know when to like, so like they, it's they not, yes. They when you're getting tired. They, they, they try to preserve your energy for 45 minutes, which I think is great. Like <laughs> yeah, the whole room. I mean, my arm is shaking. That's how I know like how dehydrated I am. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm 
back from my trip. Yesterday I got back and I was just dead, let me tell you. I quickly unpacked, started like doing laundry and stuff because you know, when you go to the beach, everything's all sandy. So I did all of that and then I was like, I really need to just chill in bed, watch The Bachelorette. I just, the finale, I just have so many thoughts. I don't even need to get into them because thank God the season's over, we can move on. It's the afternoon now of the next day. I actually went this morning and got my nails done. Um, nails by me in the Lower East Side. You know she does a fantastic job. And then I met a subscriber thereafter who was like, I came to this place because of you and Margot. Cause Margot, Margot was the one who put me on. But she's the best, this is the design I got today. Just a clear base and then she did white and then she went in with the black. I love it. Um, I actually needed to go and like kind of made an emergency nail fix because when I was surfing, I think I showed you guys, um, one of my nails completely broke and it was bleeding and whatnot. So she did a extension on this one. I've never done acrylics in my entire life. Uh, I just never did that. So I didn't want to like do them all around or whatever, but she did just on this one to fix. While I am drinking my matcha, just kind of conclusive thoughts, I guess. And just like a real chat, cause I know that's what a lot of people come to my channel for is like the honesty of it all. I actually do have like a topic of discussion that I talked about this a little bit on TikTok recently. It doesn't have to be sad and it doesn't have to be like a woe is me conversation. It's just more so like putting it out there. I have been in a really positive place relationship wise with like my body and body image. I'm really happy with where I am fitness wise too. I feel like I've, you know, really developed a very positive routine and kind of mindset with it, with going to workout classes a few times a week, walking whenever I can, and just more so living like a balanced lifestyle. Like if I go out to dinner, maybe, you know, then the next day I'll have a salad for lunch and stuff like that. Just really trying to like live in balance and listen to my body, I guess more so. Bathing suit season is definitely always like the hardest for me. And I really haven't had too many experiences with bathing suit season this year. I went on, what is that? all night my AC was making such a weird noise so yeah i i honestly have been doing like pretty well with body image this whole summer which i'm like thankful for because normally I, i've talked about this in my podcast and stuff summer's always been like a really tough time for me body wise like i really don't like being in a bathing suit i feel like that's like my most like vulnerable state I'm like okay that and when you're getting your hair done and it's like all slicked back and you're just like with the cape on, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We wore, as you guys saw in the first day of this vlog, like wetsuits the one day, and I actually felt like okay in it. And then I saw some photos, I guess, of myself from various angles, from other people's phones, you know, photos of me when I wasn't posing. And I got really down on myself again in my body because I was like, I, you know, I, I posted some posed photos of like me straight on me posing with Katie and I was like you know what I'm happy I look okay whatever and then I saw my body from other angles and I was like whoa like this is really like okay just hard to accept that's what it is in a way and definitely getting down on myself and in this case it wasn't even by comparison it was like seeing myself in different ways than how I see myself like in a posed photo and you know what, like it, it got me down for a minute and I definitely got in my head about like the self comparison. I was like, you know, just really in my head about things in general. And I kind of had an experience with that with Lollapalooza and I saw like not even that many, like I, it's just like one or two comments or something, things that like set me off basically. And I saw one or two about like the way that I looked in my outfits basically insinuating that I was like large or like that I, I don't really know stuff's like unflattering or whatever it's definitely difficult to deal with because it's obviously like things that we deal with already and then we have the added pressures of society and I don't want this to be like a triggering talk for anybody because I was able to get myself through it and be like you know everyone looks unflattering when it's not an angle that they choose of themselves and like I said I am so thankful for the progress that I have made and I'm so thankful that while my body is a part of me that's not everything like I am so much more happy with like the person that I am and like oh my god I don't want to cry this is like stupid if I cry right now but anyways I was able to pull myself out of it is the point so that was probably the toughest that it's been like the whole summer and it wasn't even in the moment in the moment I was like frolicking around the beach like running around like trying to surf I probably looked like an idiot and I did not care until afterwards when I saw like other people's like, you know just quick clips videos stuff like that and I'm standing there like unposed you know not sucking in whatever and I look at myself and I'm like whoa is that what I really look like I almost had like an out-of-body experience like I was like is that really what I look like right now 
and you know what it is but that's how it's seen from other angles and like everyone's like i said everyone's gonna post the most flattering images of themselves that's just the way the world works and i do it too it was definitely something that i dealt with this week beyond that the trip itself was really fantastic everyone was so so kind everyone obviously from the brand team and everybody that i got to meet i got to meet a lot of other like um influencers and stuff i haven't been on a brand trip like that in the longest time one where it's like you know meeting all different types of people i got a lot of messages from you guys like have you met xyz person and i met mostly everyone on the trip and got to have really good convos a lot of people are new york city based so it's nice moving forward that i'll be able to see them and um hopefully i'm sure we'll all cross paths again the world is kind of like a small place in those senses and especially when we break it down and like do like the new york city like influencer like circles and stuff i hate to like say it like that but that's really what it is like it is really a lot smaller than i feel like it is like i feel like everyone is like really interconnected and you know there's like it's just a thing and beyond that even just the world is a small place I always say that because I always meet people that know someone and there's like weird ties and I'm like whoa I can't believe this so anyways fantastic trip just so honored to have been invited um, and the brand team did a fantastic job of planning it was so much fun I'm so glad that I had Katie there and Margo of course Katie and I have just had so much fun we ended up we like went on Instagram live I guess two nights ago we were just having so much fun I definitely had a few too many not too many I had few glasses of rosé at the dinner so I, I had a fun time I will say I love the dress that I wore I think it's so pretty I'm gonna get a dry clean so I'll be able to wear it again but I think that's gonna conclude this vlog I just kind of wanted it to be the weekend trip and then today I don't really have too much to show honestly a lot of my day I have to get ready at some point and take some content for a brand um, I have a phone call walking through crossing our fingers the gals on the go website because uh, we're getting that finished up and we're working on some other projects i know i keep saying that but hopefully within a month or so everything's gonna kind of like launch at once so that will be exciting what the next vlog will be is my best friend from college mariah is coming to visit tomorrow so that's why i have to get everything wrapped up really quickly because she comes like i said tomorrow and she's staying with me we're going to have a great weekend with all of our friends and of course i will take you guys through all of that because i know she loves to be in the vlogs and stuff so get excited for that subscribe if you guys are new here also follow me on instagram i posted a lot this weekend just like random stories in the moment content and i feel like that's like a really good place to connect and i love connecting with you guys on there i might do like a, a quick instagram q a today why not gonna continue drinking my matcha i'm sorry for like the sad boy hour but i always try to keep it real and like i think i'm showing how much fun i'm having and obviously how blessed of a life i live and how lucky i am to do this all because of you guys but i do want to keep it real and show that like not everything like i'm not always you know that abundantly happy unfortunately all the time and a lot of the trip literally 99 percent of the trip was that way but of course I feel like it's important to share those things because it's real and i know that unfortunately a lot of you guys probably have your own battles with similar stuff or whatever it may be love you guys a lot and we'll talk soon bye